Undoubtedly, one of the most fascinating aspects of Africa lies in the contrasts that arise from the coexistence and constant evolution between an ancestral past and a modern present. This scenario offers us the opportunity to explore how the heart of Addis Ababa has managed to become an exceptional witness that economic progress and sustainability are no longer incompatible. Welcome to Entoto Park, a treasure of Ethiopia where history, nature, and innovation converge in a unique place. In our previous video, we delved into the origins of the city of Addis Ababa and its close connection with the majestic Mount Entoto, as well as the iconic Church of Santa Maria. In this video, we will immerse ourselves in the evolution of this mythical and ancient endeavor, which went far beyond the construction of a church. The true engine of any nation resides in its energy and the resources with which solid infrastructures can be built. In the 19th century, what was undoubtedly the most economical and efficient option as an energy source. Faced with the growing threat from Europe, which was advancing relentlessly in the conquest of Africa, and Ethiopia's fervent desire to transform into a stronger and more prosperous nation, a continuous supply of energy and construction materials was required. Emperor Menelik immediately grasped the speed at which native forests were depleting due to the demands of Ethiopia's new stage of development. The situation was such that he had to frequently relocate the capital due to the lack of resources. Trees didn't grow fast enough to meet the demands for building homes, structures, vehicles, factories, and as a household energy source, as well as for the smelting of precious metals. Additionally, resources were needed to construct fortifications and manufacture weapons that could counter the looming threat of Italian invasion. One day, during his moments of prayer, the emperor implored for wisdom and divine blessing to overcome this immense challenge. Shortly after, a merchant returning from India via the maritime route shared a remarkable tale. He spoke of an Englishman importing miraculous trees from distant lands. These trees grew upright, resembling columns, and at an astonishing pace. Beyond being excellent sources of firewood, they possessed multiple resins that fought against the flu and served as exceptional fuel. Their wood, solid and easy to work with, was ideal for construction, and what was truly astounding was that these trees could be cultivated in deserts and forests alike. This was due to their place of origin being so extreme that these trees had developed a remarkable adaptation to various climates. Thus, Emperor Menelik heard about Eucalyptus and Sir Joseph Hooker for the first time. Sir Joseph Hooker, an English merchant, had imported this species from Australia to Madagascar. In a resolute effort, the emperor acquired thousands of trees and embarked on the task of reforesting Mount Entoto and the Shoei Forest. His commitment even went to the extent of instructing that 100 trees be planted for every family member, creating a sort of tribute to nature. Over the years, Mount Entoto has transformed into a captivating kaleidoscope of realities. On one hand, it served as the vital lung of the city for an extended period. Nevertheless, it also supported countless women whose routine involved ascending the hill daily to harvest wood and sell it in the city, providing a crucial energy source for cooking. An undeniable necessity in 20th century Ethiopia. but times have evolved. In the 21st century, driven by the notable advancements brought about by economic reforms, Mount Entoto has assumed the role of a hybrid symbol. An intersection between the past and the future, nature and humanity, religion and science, the forest and the city. This environment symbolizes a profound synergy that transcends divisions, merging elements into a harmonious panorama. Today, Mount Entoto has transformed into a natural park undergoing continuous restoration, 
thanks to the collaboration of forestry engineers and researchers. This forest is gradually reclaiming its lushness through the reintroduction of endemic trees. Beyond its valuable contribution to oxygen generation, Mount Entoto stands as a refuge for a multitude of animal species. However, this place transcends its ecological role. It offers unique experiences to both Ethiopians and their visitors. Additionally, it has taken on a new role as a source of employment for numerous women who, thankfully, no longer need to harvest wood. Instead, they receive a dignified salary, marking a notable shift in their lives and putting an end to that old and exhausting labor. Today, Entoto Park is reclaiming its fundamental role as the heart of the city, offering Ethiopians a space to reconnect with nature and reinforce fundamental values such as family, spirituality, sports, and friendship. This park has transformed into a versatile and diverse environment, where amenities have been incorporated for a variety of activities. Here, you'll find cozy palapas for picnics, strategically placed seating amidst the woods for peaceful reading, sports courts for exercise, and amphitheaters for vibrant concerts and captivating theater performances. Additionally, there's no shortage of space for local commerce, contributing to the economic dynamics of the surrounding community. It features restrooms, security, three restaurants, and everything a top-tier public space requires. Alongside, there's a resort and a plethora of outdoor activities. Here, you can explore trails enveloped by the lushness of eucalyptus trees, all while marveling at the panoramic views the park offers. Sleep in the midst of the forest and relish the sounds of birds and the nocturnal prowling of hyenas. Comfortable and luxurious rooms that will make you feel like an explorer discovering new lands, all while enjoying at most comfort. Delight in delectable feasts at its incredible restaurant. Engage in outdoor activities ranging from zip lining, archery, horseback riding, and many, many more. And at the end of the day, you can wrap up with a delicious and relaxing massage at the spa and, why not, a good jacuzzi. You'll be able to live like an emperor while you enjoy your stay here. And Toto Park is also a marvelous place for devotees who relish divine connection and history enthusiasts. The Church of Santa Maria remains a site of devotion and a testament to Ethiopia's profound religious heritage. You can enhance your visit with a final, magical encounter with science by visiting the Star Observatory at the Mount's summit. And Toto Park is also a place for socializing and celebration. Here, you'll have the opportunity to enjoy picnics and group activities, enriching your bonds with friends and family. From its inception as a vision of innovation to its transformation into a park that promotes conservation and connection with nature, Entoto Park continues to evolve. Entoto Park is a forest located at an altitude of over 3,000 meters above sea level, a foggy forest. Additionally, you cannot enter the park by car, so you have three transportation options, walking, using or renting a bicycle, a golf cart, or a scooter. Therefore, on your visit, we recommend that you please wear comfortable clothing like loose sportswear and footwear like sneakers or hiking shoes. Come prepared with a leisurely and sporty mindset because the park is so vast that you won't be able to explore it all in a day. Join us to explore in Toto Park and immerse yourself in Ethiopia's rich history and nature. Contact us to learn more and Toto Park, where the legacy of Emperor Menelik II and the wisdom of Empress tie to blend with nature and culture in a spectacle of Ethiopian wonders. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.
follow us on Instagram, comment, and share this video. For us, it's an honor to share our culture with you.